Huh. I can't lie. This actually looks pretty similar to my room when I was a kid. My little desk over there. Got my Sega Genesis games over here. I think that's actually my bedspread. Like, from when I was a kid. Actually my bedspread. Um, might have a few more squares on it, but I'll take it. Not a bad representation. And that might be a Dunkin' Yo-Yo over there. I had a few of those myself. Uh, beanbag chair? Might be the smallest. What's up, Mako? Smallest beanbag chair ever. So I was actually watching this on uh, on, on IGN like a month ago when it first came out. Um, and, uh, and this is... <sighs> Hey, what's going on, Mikey <laughs> Sensei, with the eggplant? Uh, this is uh, this is interesting because I was a Sega Genesis kid growing up, and uh, man, when this collection came out, I was like, oh sweet, I already kind of have this for PlayStation Three. What's up, Nissan Lover? Uh, what's up, everybody? Actually, um, I I had a Sega Genesis when I was a kid. I uh, to my detriment, I didn't have a Super Nintendo like most people, uh, or like like I should have had, I guess. And uh, and I had the the Sonic uh, the Sonic collection. On uh, on PlayStation Three, uh, and so uh, thanks for watching from work, dude. And so anyway, so you know, so I have a, I have a I have a long sorted history with something like seventy three with the Sega Genesis, and uh, and this is um, and this is kind of cool, man, to to be able to like sit here in this in this room playing PlayStation VR, uh, playing Sega Genesis in PlayStation VR. Um, yeah, Arn models. I, I knew there was going to be a ton of people with that kind of comment that just isn't that aren't going to really get it. Um, and uh, and that's the thing. It's like if you what's up, Dead Ringer. The uh, the deal is is that like the Lost Bear um, and uh, and Bloody Zombies and Thirty Bucks Tumble Prime. Uh, everything you need to know is in the description, guys. Um, yeah, it's. It, I mean, I I needed an excuse. I needed an excuse to uh, to be able to play to play these games, and the fact that I get to play them in PlayStation VR is the best excuse ever. Um, yeah, there is multiplayer as well, so there's a lot going on here. Uh, but let's let's dive right in, man. I, I have a very very fond uh, memory of most of these games, so uh, I don't know if we're gonna play them all, but let's play some of them. No, this is absolutely amazing. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's see what extras says. Okay, so this trophy information. Uh, that, that's pretty cool. Um, we got, uh, oh, we can... Ah, so the little block there, that, that makes that makes it a... That puts it in your favorites collection. You hit L1 and it, and it separates it from the rest. That's interesting. Alright, so, let's play it, man. Let's play Alex Kidd. Now, this is... This, uh, 30 bucks, Mako. Everything's in the description, I promise you. Um, so, uh, oh, this is interesting. This is not at all what I expected. I expected to be sitting in the living room, or in the bedroom. Uh, but instead I'm... Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Something, something seems up. I feel like I should be playing... What's up, Dave Station? How you doing, dude? Um... Yeah, we definitely do need that. What is a Polish pale? What's up, Polish Paul? <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm doing that now. I I just go to uh, I, I just had to hold the uh the touchpad. I, I knew there was absolutely no way, right? Um, yeah, this is this is the only way to do it. Uh, the uh. Okay, whoa, controls. What's up, Lewis? How you doing? Dude? All right, this is interesting. That's for sure. Uh, this is this is not the Alex Kid game I spent a lot of time with. The Alex Kid game I spent a lot of time with was um, man, it was uh, Alex Kid and Shinobi World. I spent a lot of time in that, but that was on the uh, the Sega Master System. And uh, what else? Miracle World, maybe? I don't know. I have no idea. Uh -huh. Yeah, Dave, if, uh, if you want to jump on and play multiplayer, man, uh, I'm, I'm totally down. 
I don't really have a time frame here. The TV feels pretty small, man. I, I, I kind of wish there was like a bigger option. Uh, the fact that you can play it uh, in such a in such a huge mode. Um, no, the, the sound is just stereo. Uh, it's not coming from the TV at all. It seems. Man, I don't remember this game being so hard. Bet your life. Hell yeah. I'll bet my life. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh man, rock, paper, scissors slap. It, this is rock, paper, scissors life. <laughs> Duncan. Duncan. Oh. oh, that's a good point. I guess I could just sit closer. Here, you know what? Let me let me let me slide my whole couch forward. <laughs> Hold on, I'm getting close. Now I'm playing like I was a kid. Okay, hold on, hold on, oh man, wait, I'm way too, oh man, my mom's going to come in any second and tell me not to sit so closer to the TV. Little did she know that when I got older, I would have two little TVs, uh, a mere half an inch from my eye at all times. Uh, my favorite Sega Genesis game, that, that's pretty tough, man. Uh, I actually, psh, off the top of my head, I, I don't really know. Um, I've got a pretty decent... A pretty decent collection. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is what we're talking about. All right. Ah, motherfucker. Uh, Dave, if uh, we're doing multiplayer, I'm on. I'm on my other account. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Desra. <laughs> Desra's using my my uh, my normal account right now. Uh, so I, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I might have to jump in and like add you. I, I don't even honestly know. Uh, what my name is on this. Alright, I'm already... I'm already done with this one. I'm already done with this one. Alright, let's go Let's go check out the game's library here. This totally came out of nowhere, huh? Pretty awesome. Uh, hold on a second. What is my username? Um... Oh, okay. This is, uh, Dave, uh, the, uh... I'm I'm, sen I'm sending you a I'm sending you a text right now, Dave, uh, because I don't want people adding me, adding adding me on this. Hold on. This isn't an account I ever use unless uh, Desra is using my other account. So there we go. I just I just sent you a text, Dave. Uh, add me as a friend, and then uh, we can dive into some multiplayer. Man, oh man, look at all these games. Gunstar Heroes. All right, let's just check them out. Alex Kidd, Alien Soldier, uh, Alien Storm, Altered Beast, Beyond Oasis. Uh, is that... No, wait, what is this one? Biohazard Battle. Uh, Bonanza Brothers Columns, Columns 3, Comic Zone, Crackdown, Decap Attack, Dr. Robotnik, um, Dynamite Heady, E-Swat, Fatal Labyrinth. Flicky, Game Ground, Galaxy Force 2, Golden Axe, Golden Axe 2, Golden Axe 3, Gunstar Heroes. What else we got here? Kid Chameleon, Landstalker, Light Crusader, Fantasy Star 2, Fantasy Star 3, Fantasy Star 4. Guys, you could spend, like, the rest of your life just playing the Fantasy Star games. Holy crap. Uh, Rice Star, Shadow Dancer, Shining in the Darkness, Shining Force, Shining Force 2, Shinobi... Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 1 and 2, and I, ha I really hate that these collections never have Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Uh, Sonic Spinball, Space Harrier 2, Streets of Rage 1, 2, 3, Super Thunder Blade, Sword of Vermilion, uh, The Revenge of Shinobi, Toe Jam and Earl, and uh, Toe Jam and Earl Panic on Funkatron. Right down here, Vector Man, Vector, wait, just Vector Man, not Vector Man 2? Alright, we got uh, Virtua Fighter 2, okay, out. I didn't get the last couple. Oh, Wonder Boy Monster World. That's the one I played extensively. What in the hell is this one? What is this one? Oh, Wonder Boy 3. That's not the that's not the box that I have for one Wonder Boy 3. Oh, wait. I have Wonder Boy 3 on my TurboGrafx-16. That that explains everything. Uh Now, hold on a second. I got I got to find out um hold on a second. Let me back out of here and I got to go into online multiplayer.
I don't I don't know if I don't know if uh, Dave is doing this or not. I'm really bad at things. Uh, I don't know who that is. Uh, normally, I would have accepted uh, anything, but. The game is flat, but the room is VR. Yeah, absolutely, Kev Gret. So it's it's like playing Sega Genesis games uh, in your bedroom. Uh, so they give you the bedroom and a TV, and that is pretty much it. Um, did he... Did, hold on a second. Did Dave invite me? All right, so I, I had to accept Dave's friend's re friend request, uh, and let's see, let's see. This is sorry, sorry. This is this is slow getting started here. Um, we'll we'll see how this works. Again, this this is all right. I got an invitation, so I'm going to go back out of this and. David, can you hear me? Can you hear me, David? <laughs> this is so weird. We we probably should have set this up ahead of time uh, in, instead of oh here we go online multiplayer with with David. Oh, hold on now I got to accept his uh, chat invitation. Let's see this is a uh, this is riveting television. Riveting. What's up, Dave? There he is. Sorry that took so long, man. I'm, I'm like not... All right. I, now the question is, since this is not account I use, I'm curious to know if people can hear you. Um, yeah. All right. So the, the question in the chat, of course, is can you hear Dave? Is it just me or is it both of us? Um, because... Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm going to put voice on too. All right, now can you guys hear Dave? That's that's the question. I, I put the voice on, and uh, we'll see. Still can't hear him. Roy says no. Um, no. L let me check my party chat. This isn't going to be any fun if they're just hearing me talk to a ghost. One second. Oh, 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 I think we lost them. All right, I'm going to check my settings real quick. Hang out, you guys. Hang out. Everything's everything's cool. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Checking all my settings. Check in my settings. Settings, settings, settings. Audio sharing settings. Share party, party audio. There it is. All right. All my settings. All my settings are set, set, set. All my settings are set. Where the fuck is Dave? 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 Hello? <laughs> Dave? Uh oh. Now, now I can't hear Dave. David. Yeah, no Sega CD games, man. That would be that would be incredible. I think that's uh Yeah, well Dave Dave has to be here. I, this is uh I don't, I don't I don't know. He only has a few minutes to play. So, uh, <laughs> Jeff, you guys can cool it with the uh Wait, you're Dave. That doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound right at all. Uh yeah, Robert, I I, I got to say that probably when you're dealing with uh when you when you're dealing with uh, these kind of collections, Disney and all the license kind of stuff, is always going to get left out. Uh, it's not a hard and fast rule, obviously. Uh, I know that uh, some collections are surprisingly good. Dave? Hey, I'm back. I had to switch back to prioritize uh, party chat because I didn't hear you in the game at all. So, okay. Uh, so let me, maybe let's... you can just do that thing real quick where you 
share out other people's voices in the settings or i mean yeah no i, I, I kill the whole stream trying no no, to no we, we already killed the whole stream it's cool okay you guys can hear him now right <laughs> you guys can hear him now oh right you're okay. finally here man everybody's great all we can hear. right things Let's are good what do you want to play i don't know so i'm gonna leave it up to you it's uh, one of those I situations man oh well, talk to me yeah, yeah. what'd you lewis. play i played uh, gunstar heroes with lewis i played okay. streets of rage 2 with lewis yeah okay uh virtua fighter 2 and uh <laughs> bonanza brothers which yeah, i had never oh, heard yeah. of and it's kind of a weird one yeah i used to i used to love bonanza bonanza brothers as a kid um it's pretty crazy um biohazard crazy. battle i think is kind of fun that might be like a shoot 'em up or something um, but I'll let you pick. Uh, this is crazy. There's too many options. Um, Golden Axe is always fun too. Let's, you know what? Let's let's try the let's try Biohazard Battle because I I don't know if I remember this one from being from when I was I a kid. I think I might own this game uh, for Genesis. <laughs> I think I bought it somewhere one time. Nice. Oh, you gotta confirm. So you should see a little thing. Uh, it says I want to play Biohazard Battle. Uh, I mean, I'll oh, oh, way up there. Oh, wait, now, now you want to play it? Okay, there I'll it accept. is. All right, I don't. Th that's so weird that the option is like not. I'm looking at the game and the options over there. Then like way over on the left is a totally different option. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry. We gotta reset it. Why? I hit one player start on accident. You suck. I'm so sorry. How uh, do we? Uh, hold on, let me hold down the uh, load exit button. the here. empty save. Oh God, I ended up in full screen. Okay, here we go. Back, back to it. Um, so do I have to go okay, back over here and select the, the game there. again? Play, uh, accept. Oh, accept, huh. All right. Okay. So I'm not going to spam the start button here. Yeah, yeah, stop that. <laughs> oh my god, wait, it's so fast! Dave, you suck. Son of a bitch! Wait, 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 wait. There, you, you're, no, you're, no longer, you're no longer invited to my bedroom. Hey, try this, just hit start. Can you just hit start? I hit me? start. Ah, son of a bitch. So am I just watching you play? Is that what's going on? No, 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 no. I mean, that's what's happening right now, but I'm gonna... I'm totally just watching you play. That's <laughs> so I funny. There's I just, gotta be a way. Yeah, oh, wait, you can rewind. Let's rewind all the way to the beginning. <laughs> oh, I just... I, I hold on, I just, I just backed out. I just backed out. We're doing this one more time. Oh, that's fine, yeah. You, okay, I'm not gonna press anything at all. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, play. Uh, play, there we go. Okay, here we go. Man, it's taken 20 minutes, and then we're finally going to play a game. This is great. This stream is fucking awkward. Sorry. <laughs> it's all good. I just got to lean way into the TV here. All right. Ooh, now I'm real close to the TV. Okay, so be careful. Uh, yep. Just tap the start button so lightly. Got it. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. Two-player start. Which weird guy do you want to be? Uh, I don't have... Whoop. I don't have controls You're over... You're blue and I'm red, I think. Yeah, you're blue and I'm red. Oh, this the, um, is there a total delay for you too when you like push when you push the cursor? Is there a total delay? Uh, I couldn't tell. I thought we were just kind of bumping into each other and trying to uh -huh. get the same one. There, there was a huge delay on that on that uh, character select screen. That's really strange. I didn't notice any input delay when I was playing online with Lewis, but it did occasionally like uh, stop for a second, like jump or skip or something. All right, so dude, this guy dude, around I'm... you will shoot in any direction you uh, point him. Up and down. Dude, I, I'm not kidding. When I say there's a huge, huge lag on my end, it is a huge, really? huge lag. This is That's awful. Crazy. It's like it's, it's like a second That's behind. Nice. I'm just working pretty well on this end. I don't know why. I think you want to grab these things. Yeah. Huge delay. I'm uh, getting an occasional skip, like a stutter. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting the occasional stutter too, but I'm also like just. I feel like I'm not even in control of my character. You know you're the guy on top, right? Yep. Okay, cool. Sometimes I get mixed up. That's so weird, man. I'm wondering why... Grab some of that shit. Oh, yeah. Well, we can try a different game and see if it changes anything. But, uh, I mean, I have been kind of having some internet problems lately, but I'm not getting anything on my end. It's kind of weird. You know? I wonder... I wonder if it's, uh, I want, if you're having internet problems, I wonder if, like, am I hosting it or something like exactly, that? Exactly, because it, when, when you started, like, the one-player game and I was watching you play, I wonder if that's when, uh, yeah, you might have just been hosting it. That's very strange. All right, I'm going to back out of this, because this, okay. uh, this is not any fun at all um, with, with the lag. 
Um, yeah, so I'm sorry oh. that's happening. Oh, no, um, good, oh, good. It's it's good to know that this is a possibility. You wouldn't expect any lag. Uh, do, do, does like columns have um, multiplayer? Yeah, that's good. Multiplayer. Oh wait, all all, all of these games have multiplayer. Try. That's cool. They they only all show the you the ones, ones on the that shelf, have. They take out. Yeah, yeah, they take out the other ones. That's smart. I like that. All right. The other players pause the game. I didn't mean to. I don't know what I'm doing. I accept. All right. Oh. Good, good, good. Here, let me reset my camera here so I can get close to the TV. Columns three, huh? Revenge um. of Columns. <laughs> uh, one on one? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Let's do one on one. Best of three sounds fine. I don't know. I, I know, it's been a while since I played this. <laughs> I don't this. remember. I don't uh, which... know if I've ever actually played it. Which side am I on? Uh, you look like you're on the right side. Okay. You still getting lagged? Uh, I mean, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. It's, it's hot, tougher to notice because it's a puzzle game. But, uh, but I'm still getting getting some lag here. Do I have to? What am I trying to make in these columns? I just uh, it's, it's like it, it's like a match four or match three, I think. Match four. But you, yeah, but obviously. Oh, it is match three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but if you can if you can make more than you're, you're better off. I don't know what's up with these ones that have a square around them. You know what it is? Square around them? Yeah, yours that you have right now, like the box, the white. The one that's falling? Or do they all have that? Yeah, it's just showing you the one that's falling. Oh, okay. I'm done. It's all right. You have many other great qualities, David. Thank you. I didn't end. Up, I didn't end up watching your uh, detach review. I didn't. I, I woke up today and I was like, man, I gotta bust out this detach review before I watch anyone else's. Um, yeah. But I'm but I'm excited to get my review done because it's a, it's such a game that I love and hate so simultaneously. It's not yeah. even funny. Somebody told me that I scored it incorrectly, and I was like, this is why I don't put scores on stuff usually. Because like, oh, you put a number on it? stuff in the past. I just kind of you know shat one out of my mouth at the end. Well, what was your number? I'm so curious. Seven. That's incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I really really loved the the feeling of it and the locomotion. And everything. So I kind of have a soft spot for it, even though it frustrated the hell out of me. Oh yeah, no, I was totally kidding. Like, 7 sounds like a great score. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, the guy was like, oh, based on your other previous reviews, I would say this is a, actually a 5. And I'm like, aren't I the guy who did those previous reviews? I think yeah. I know. What well, I you know, but you, to do. Dave, that means you have a been loyal enough to, to correct you on your own scoring system. I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> Life is strange, David. Appreciate what you got. Yeah. No, I'm not trying to shit talk anybody. No, yeah. of course not. Of course not. But you, oh, but you are kicking my ass, man. Oh, I, I was just kind of playing really casually here. I'm taking my time. Well, fine. Yeah. I should say I'm colorblind. I know they all have different shapes, but yeah, no, I being colorblind would so definitely be an issue. That's why I picked it, I man. I knew like I'd have the... an advantage. Yeah, you suck. <laughs> Like bust a move or uh, bubble bobble or whatever they call it. Um, I guess it depends on where you live. That game I can't do because it's all color based. But wait, wait, wait! Bust a move and bubble bobble aren't the same game. Uh, there's a similar title. There are uh, the, the same dinosaurs. The games. Yeah, the same. Yeah. They're the same dinosaurs, but they're not the same games. Right? Isn't there? Am, a am I wrong about difference? this? I think there's a titling difference between. Uh, the U.S. and other we, we have a lot of European viewers. What, any, anybody out there know if, uh, if Bust a Move and Bubble Bobble are the same game? I know Puzzle Bobble is. So maybe I'm thinking of Puzzle Bobble. I, 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 don't, call it. I don't know. I, 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 I didn't realize it was called something different in a different place. I thought Bust a Move and Bubble, Bubble, and Bubble Bobble would be totally two different games. Oh my Wait. god, son of a bitch! Bubble I'm done! Uh, <laughs> I'm done. On one sec, I got a phone message here. All right. It's gonna take you back to the past and play some shitty games that suck ass. He'd rather have a buffalo take a diarrhea dump in his ear. He'd rather <laughs> have. What? You still there? I'm here. Rotten asshole of a roadskill <laughs> dunk getting down it with beer. He's the angriest gamer you've ever heard. All right, I'm done singing. Um. Are we playing? Yeah? Yeah. Alright, cool. Was that an improv? No, that was uh, the Angry Video Game Nerd theme song. Oh, okay. Have you not watched the I Angry Video Game Nerd? I thought you were making up a theme song for AWOL. <laughs> um, 
No, I haven't really watched him very much. Oh wow, no, he's like I mean, for you know, if, if you're a gamer, it's uh, it's like standard standard watching material, man. I, I love AVGN. Ooh, this time I'm coming for you, Brian. Alright, alright, well, well, no, now that I know it's off. game on, alright. Loves are off, columns are on. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Now I'm like, I can't even talk now. Now I'm like, concentrating. Like, man, we definitely have to uh, get this shit together here. I gotta show my Sega Genesis roots for the crew, you know? I just never had this game. I mean, I had a Sega. Uh, I had this on my Game Gear. Uh, I never had this on my Genesis. I always wanted Game Gear. Uh, I mean, it was so good. I I, I even like the uh, the Castle of Illusion Game Gear game better than the Sega Genesis one. <laughs> totally. I like this because I feel like the multiplayer online, even though it's a little you know fidgety, it's laggy or whatever. Um, it's such a nice way to just sit and shoot the shit. You know, Absolutely. While you're playing something. Absolutely. I'd be shooting this shit more, but you, you put the pressure on me. You're like, oh, I'm bringing my game this time. I'm like, oh, crap. Hey, yeah, we'll see if that amounts to anything. <laughs> well, I mean, you've kicked my ass so many times at Farpoint. I, I don't even like. I don't know. I don't know if I have the chops to, to defeat you at all. Yeah, I'm really bad at these games usually. Like uh, the, the first time I showed somebody if they've never played it. Then I do okay, and then after they learn how to play it, I'm like fucked every time. <laughs> That's how I am with Tekken. I always kick ass at Tekken, and then somebody goes, somebody goes, oh, I get it, and then they just kick my ass for like the rest of our friendship. Yeah. Which is usually the end of our friendship at a few Tekken matches. And if they say, is Eddie Gordo any good? You can't say yes. No, no, no. He's the worst character. You can't play as him. He's he's not. No, no, no. You don't want to play as him. He's just no. he's so bad. You don't. You really don't want to. Play also, Doctor Bosganovich, don't even fucking select him. What is that thing you just got? I don't even know. That fancy. It, it didn't do anything. I think I had to make a line got with rid it. Of some stuff. Like I, I, ooh, I don't. Ooh, oh, 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 look at you! Look at that you, combo like man. That was chain reaction. That was a pretty. Cool I didn't realize combo. you could do diagonals too. I like the diagonals. Oh no! Now you know how to play. End of our friendship. <laughs> Sorry. Why is one <laughs> flashing? Oh, I don't geez, know, man. There's a lot of stuff here I'm not totally familiar with. I'm surprised that uh, well, what I don't. Is Columns three, Revenge of the Columns. Yeah, maybe I never actually got to number yes. three. I think two yeah. was two only released in arcades. I can't really remember what the deal was with that. And, I, and I'm betting that somebody in the comments answered our uh, bubble bobble question, but. Oh yeah. Um, well, but, I don't but to see the comments. I know, but I've, I've been too busy trying to beat you to, to, to read the comments. I think you're still gonna get me, honestly. Oh, I'm totally gonna get you still, yeah, for sure. Oh, I'm, wait. I'm just playing it up, man. Oh, whoa, whoa! I was just thinking to myself... Oh. Ooh! I was just thinking to myself, I can't believe we're not, like, invading each other's game, and we totally are. I just... No, I just dropped some columns on you, didn't I? Oh, that's the name of the game. Uh, things are getting real rough over here, Dave. Real rough. For you? Yeah, for me. Uh oh, uh oh. It's getting real rough. Oh no, oh no, oh no, no. What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? I just don't know. I don't know either. Oh crap, crap, this wasn't the one I thought. Oh crap, this isn't oh, gonna be geez. good. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Dave, you brought it. You brought it good. Oh, jeez, this isn't looking good for me now either, but... Oh, dude, dude. It's totally over. You sent, uh, me, those, you sent me those bamboo shoots, and that's all it took. Oh, it's one-to-one. Well, -one. So, now I've proven that I'm better. <laughs> oh, shit. Because uh, I won the most recent game, and we can move on <laughs> to something else. Uh, do you want to you leave it as a tie, or should we do the tiebreaker? I'm fine with a tie. Okay, let's leave it for both it, of our egos. This isn't exactly fun uh, watching here, so... Uh, We'll, we'll pick it's something a little play, more exciting. Yeah, no, agreed. Fun to play. Agreed. All right, so I can probably do one more before I gotta go back to work. All right, you played Streets of Rage two already. Is that what you played? Yes, it is. All right, well then we're doing Streets of Rage three. I don't think I've ever played that one. I accept. All right. Yeah, get real close to the TV here. 
Sega. I wish it would make the sound. I haven't heard it once. It was different for different games. Um, okay. It's like I think only Sonic the Hedgehog games actually uh, actually said Sega at the beginning of them. Man, for the most part. I can hear that. Sega. Bum, 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 bum. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Okay. Two players? Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. I was just saying wait because, uh... Ooh, Zan looks crazy. I didn't... I don't think he was in Streets of Rage 2. I'm... You know, I'm, I'm still two player on this. I'm, the fact that I'm second player, um... I think is causing my lag because I'm not hosting these games. Huh. Um... Do you want to... Oh, no, no. Wait for me to drop out. I, I, you can invite me or something. We can no, you, you're one. you're low on time, man. We'll we'll make the best with what we got right now, and because uh, right. this is probably the last game we're gonna play together, and then I'll play a bunch of single player stuff after your uh, after yeah. you call it quits. Uh, all right. It's a, it's kind next move, Axel. It's kind of a and shame. He's right about the robots. It's kind of a shame they don't have like a giant CRT television that there's no options to uh, to like really adjust the size of this thing. I feel like, for nostalgia's sake, this is perfect because it's like you and your friend just huddled in front of the TV, getting as close as you can. Oh yeah, uh, no, I, I, I get it. Oh god, I forgot. Don't use square because it uses up your life. Like a special okay. attack. That yeah, a normal attack. It is. It is. Uh, for everyone who's asking, it's. Uh, it, it is still slightly laggy for me. I. I I'm hearing oh, that. Oh god, I'm sorry. I'm hearing that that's I not that. an issue for most people. Uh, so. Uh, don't. Don't count this game yeah, out just, just because a, of our, our our situation. Yeah, as a counterpoint, um, you know, I played with Lewis earlier, and there was not that, just the occasional stutter, like it still does. But... Yeah, it's still doing that for sure. Oh god, I'm getting my ass kicked. Oh no. That was rude. I forget they were like team team moves. Well, yeah, you can also hurt each other really easily. Oh, you can. Okay. I punched you and knocked you over at one point already. Oh, I didn't even realize. Oh, I guess I didn't even realize. You I kinda apologize, but I think you were talking. You kind of look like the enemy, so I just assumed you were the enemy. No, I'm. I'm got cool skate shoes. Those are some cool ass fucking skate shoes. Are they Converse branded? Is that what's going on? Uh, Metcat 1983. This is 30 bucks on the PlayStation Store currently. I heard it was on sale on the, uh, the European Store. Is that true? It um, is, yeah. And I think it's half price. The other thing is, I wow. got it used from GameStop. And uh, oh, sorry about that. Yeah, whatever. Um, if you got their like rewards thing or whatever, the pro member, it's like 20 bucks. Nice. It's, it's not bad. And to get a physical copy cool is always poster. nice. Yeah, I did see that. Cool. Yeah. I just I I just downloaded this because I was like I I don't know I'm not I'm not gonna go try to find the best deal I just want to do this stream and uh, sorry I didn't mean to do that and move on with my life <laughs> I have a detached review to do oh, I yeah. can't be playing Sega Genesis games all day you might just have to though and actually Dez is coming over I, I tonight get more into this than I Dez is coming over oh, tonight yeah, and uh, this too. we uh he's got he and I are filming a new episode of Why We Love PlayStation VR. And uh, it's, a, it's a game that a lot of people have wanted us to talk about, so I got to get back into it and play it a little bit before we uh, before we film. You should try when Dez is over. Um, see if you can get local co-op going with one person on the TV and one VR. Because I think that's probably how it works, but I haven't tried it. Yet. People have asked about it. I'll try it. I'll definitely see what's going on. Yeah, for sure. Shit in here. Oh, you can break the box down below. Uh, there were some that you could. Like these, these, this one over here, I think. More. Yeah. Whoa, what did I pick up? I'm holding a orb of light. Yeah, you are. Holy crazy. crap. Dragon fire. I can throw fucking fire at people now. Dude, Street Fighter 2 changed everything. <laughs> Every, you get to, you get oh, to. He knocked it out of my hand. Yeah. Ooh, grab his knife. Next. Oh. Giant, there we go. Oh. <laughs> you threw it right at him. Threw it right at him. Ooh, that guy's got a gun. That's you. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to grab you while you were punching those guys. It's all good. It's all good. You're the love of my life and the bane of my existence. <laughs> it's strange that the guys with the guns, like, want to get real close to you before they fire. They gotta get you that pow-pow, like, mobster style. The way they're holding it, they're just like... Some guy in Goodfellas or something. Can't shoot me, I got hover shoes. Alright. 
Moving on, moving on, moving on. All right, level two. How much time you got? Uh, until I die, which might be soon. <laughs> I love that when you look at the Sega Genesis oh, down below, the cartridge is actually in the uh, in the system. I like that. Yeah, that's great. Just the everything in this little room is so cool. Let's take a minute. Oh, before I die, I am going to use the samurai sword. Get out of my face. Wait, why did it turn into a ball of light? Oh man, you're, you're, you're pretty special over there. Maybe this guy's thing is he can't pick up shit, he just turns it into a fireball. And he just throws a bunch of fireballs. Maybe, man, maybe. That could be really a thing. David, are you are you feeling like that the PlayStation VR is like seeing this like strange resurgence over the last month? Like to oh, the point where I mean, like... The last week and a half or two has been great. And with Pixel Rip coming out next week and Firewall okay. next month, like I really feel like... like it, it's, it's very tough for anyone to say anything negative about PlayStation VR anymore. There's the selection of games and, uh, and just, uh, like, the, every, and, and this just randomly happening. It, it, it kind of it yeah. says something. I mean, the persistence is huge. I can't wait to finish it and get my review of this. I am loving that fucking game. Yeah, persistence is fucking phenomenal. Whoop, get out of here. <laughs> Great, man. It, oh it really, my god, he rolled right into me. It really does give me an excuse to play these games, because I was watching, um, uh, I want to say Damon Hatfield play this on IGN, and uh, <laughs> these guys are awesome. They just, they, oh, oh my god. Nice. I didn't know I was going to do that. Sorry. You changed characters. That's awesome. <laughs> um, and I was, I was like, man, it's it's so it's so cool to uh, it's it was just cool watching him play like all my favorite like old Sega Genesis games. And I was like, yeah. I wish I wish I had an excuse to play this. Like I wish that somehow this could be in play in VR. Uh, and I, I could not believe uh, that, that I got my excuse, man. I got a great excuse. It's awesome. Oops, sorry. I totally kicked you in the face. That's what you get for yeah, being honestly, five foot it's one. Yeah, weird. I've got a Genesis in my room. Me I've too. All these games. <laughs> But I think I'll get more use out of this. <laughs> like, if I want to play a game, I might boot this up. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I've got a Sega Genesis hooked up with a 32X and a Sega CD. Uh, oh, and, nice. uh, it's actually not hooked up because it requires, like, three gigantic AC AC plugs, and it's oh, really yeah. inconvenient. Um, oh, no, my game, game is over. over. I, I did. You used, I thought you had uh, continues. Thank I, you I think continues. we... Do we share continues? I think we do. Oh. I could be I wrong. I only used one. Uh, I don't well, know, dude. I, I'm I let this guy beat me to death. Yeah, now I'm gonna jump over him. Take your time, I'll watch you play. What's up, Otaku G? How you doing? Dude! Kill me! <laughs> Kill me! Uh, keep going, man, keep going, I'll watch you play. Oh, I don't have that much time either. Come on, Garcia, I know you uh, got it in you. Mitch is saying that in his copy he has three shelves full of games, and that's totally true, but when you play multiplayer, yeah. they only show you the multiplayer games that are available. Um, so that there are true. there are certainly going there are certainly three shelves of games that we can play as soon as uh, as soon as we lose Dave here um, for his for his far superior day. Kill me of non PlayStation VR gaming. <laughs> Yeah, Michael. I don't. I, I don't. I wonder what the deal is with Sonic 3. I feel like Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles always gets left out of uh, all the collections, and uh, and I was really disappointed to see yet again that that it was not included in this collection. I realized I could speed up my own demise by hitting Square a bunch because it uses life every time I use that. <laughs> That's awesome. You still have to continue, right. so we don't share them. I guess. Yeah. I guess I just used them up and weren't paying attention. All right. Oh, weird. All right. Let's see, let's back out of this here and take a look all right, at well that was fun. Sorry you had connection issues and stuff. Uh, it's all good, man. It's all that's good. That's not every time. Uh, thank you for uh, for stopping in and hanging out with me. Oh yeah, no problem. All right, well, uh, do do uh, what do you got going on today? Anything good? Any, anything interesting? Anything Game Cats want to hear about? Uh, I'm gonna maybe be streaming V Robot because uh, <laughs> VR Grid had an extra code. He had already bought it or something. Oh, that's awesome. And. Uh, he said he didn't want to give it away because he didn't want to like <laughs> have somebody get their hopes up or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting a free game, nice. um, so he's he's gonna give it to me. But, yeah, I'm gl uh, I'm glad you got it for free because paying 15 bucks for uh, unfortunately V Robot is yeah. uh, oh, it's so if for 4.99 I'd be like ah eh, give it a shot it's weird it's interesting but it's but man after yeah. 30 minutes it's over and there's nothing else to do. I'm gonna make it a drunk stream have some fun with it hopefully. 
Awesome. Well, everyone, uh, check out Dave Station VR's channel and, uh, and and go watch his uh, drunk stream later today. Yeah, and I, I think I'll probably work on a uh, some more of that persistence review. Nice. Nice. Well, Someday soon. Cool. That was our that was our shameless promotion for Dave Station VR. Go check out his channel. <laughs> All right, Dave. Thanks for stopping right, in. I'll talk everybody. to you soon, bud. Catch you later. All right, we're leaving multiplayer. We're getting control back. And we've got... Still in your party chat. I know, dude, I know. It's so Not weird, I can, I can still hear you. Okay. No, leave multiplayer. Somebody's trying to join me in multiplayer. Stop it. Decline, decline. No, no offense to anyone trying to join me in multiplayer. Um, but it is... Um, I'm getting I'm getting some lag here, and uh, and we don't want any lag while we play this, uh, dude. I, I need to, I need to play some classics here. Um, I need to play Altered Beast. You can see the three shelves here of games. Uh, I'm gonna. Oh, okay. Hey, you know what? Uh, for the for the purpose of the stream, uh, we're gonna, I don't know, Doggy uh, I think I think we've I think somebody said that you can actually do. What's on the screen? Interesting. I think Dave was Dave just saying you could do local multiplayer. I don't know. So I'm, I think for the purpose of this stream, I, I feel like, how does this look by comparison? Is this better than, uh, than, than sitting in the bedroom or, or what? Live from your grave. Live from your grave. Uh, Pierre, no, there's, there's no news, man. Some, somebody's, uh, Somebody with Vertigo does not, does not have their stuff together. We will hopefully hear news about the Arizona Sunshine DLC soon, um, but currently I don't have news on it. The bedroom view is definitely more immersive. I didn't know if this was more fun to watch. Um, man, what, 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 what memories, man, what memories. This, it's... It, it's a little strange. I'm like, I this it, this is just theater mode doing it this way. Um, I'll switch I'll switch back to the room after this game. Uh, oh, jeez, come on, man. This game is kind of garbage. I, I I know that back in the day it had quite the following, but man, let's, let's be honest, Alter Beast is kind of garbage. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm I'm switching back to the room in a second. Welcome to your doom. Yeah, with arcade cabinets made, that would be awesome. That would be pretty awesome, for sure. Oh, Jesus. I, I, I forgot the, uh, I forgot how... I forgot what was best for this boss. I, I, it's been so long, I used to... I used to be really good at this game, despite how much I never really liked it. Uh, the arcade version was decent. Uh, this, this is, uh... <laughs> The arcade version was decent. The Genesis port was, was just never was just never that great. <laughs> you go. Thanks, Pierre. Are there are there a lot of people watching? Man. Yes, Grim Catnip and God Cannon are hosting the Catnip Games. Make sure you add uh, Grim Catnip on the PlayStation Network and uh, sign up for the Rec Royale tournament that's going on. Uh, Grim Catnip, please put the information in the chat. I, I don't have that currently available to me. Um, Flawless Felix is, def is vehemently defending uh, the Alter Beast, which is, uh, which, which is great, man, which is great. Uh, it's it's important to to hear other people's opinions, even if they're wrong. I'm I'm totally okay with that. So <laughs> let's go pick another game. Uh, somebody said to play Sonic, uh, dude. So, I mean Sonic, obviously. Sonic's my jam. Uh, Sonic is the reason I bought a, uh, a, a Sega. Sega. There it is, Dave. Sega. Uh, oh crap! Hold on a second. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta get out of the. The view here. All right, get real close to the screen. There we go. All right, yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog is the reason I had a Sega Genesis instead of a. Um, I was like fifty something games. Uh, instead of a Super Nintendo, I, I remember Sonic Sonic the Hedgehog. The marketing campaign was just too good, man. And I remember being like, "Oh, Sega Genesis has Sonic." Well, I am totally, totally down. 
Uh, there's no point in this. There's uh, whoever's asking. There's no point in playing uh, Sega Genesis games in VR. Uh, but holy crap, there's Sega Genesis games and they're in VR. Uh, right? This is this is kind of uh, this is kind of this is kind of awesome for whatever reason. Oh man. I'll say, has it been that long since I've played this? Uh, like the controls, the controls feel off, but only because I really. I feel like maybe I just haven't played this in a while. Is that is that the is that the reason? Yeah, I guess the momentum here is always strange. Uh, Mikey Sensei, I actually have Sonic Mania sitting up on the shelf for my Switch, uh, along with Octopath Traveler, uh, knowing full well that I just don't have time to play either one of them. I think Sonic 2 is my favorite. I, I think I just remember uh, like begging for it for Christmas. And, uh, and, when, and when I got when I got it for Christmas, it was like the best Christmas ever. Um, hey, what's up, Madman? How you doing, dude? There we go. There we go. Here we go. Come on, stay up in the air. Come on, come on, get all the rings. There we go. Not too bad. Yeah, KOS kid. Sega Genesis was my first console. Um, oh crap! I'm like reading the comments instead of playing the game. Yeah, in VR you can totally focus more unless you're reading comments. That's that's definitely a thing. The game screen actually looks pretty sharp. Like it's like it looks pretty pixel perfect. Um, but it's uh, you know it's it's still in VR, so it's not it's not perfect perfect. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, Sonic Two is my favorite. Uh, I just remember. Uh, I also I also just remember like you know like I said waking up Christmas morning and being like one of like the. I don't know. Getting, uh... Yeah, I guess I guess when you're a kid and getting getting a new console game, uh, it was always such a big deal because as a kid you didn't have, like, you know, expendable uh, income. And so, like, getting a new game was, like, only happened, like, maybe two or three times a year. Uh, so I just, I just remember. MK, come on, dude! It's Sega Genesis! So, uh... So yeah, so like Sonic 2 is just like the game I played non-stop for like the better part of, I don't know, six months? <laughs> Sonic & Knuckles is probably the best one, uh, but I was already kind of out of Sega Genesis gaming at that point. I'm invincible and I'm still trying to kill the enemies for some reason, I don't, I don't know what's wrong with me. Totally not on my game right now. Oh, 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 come on, let's go back and bonus stage. I think, do I still have my... Yeah, Street Wax TV. This is, uh, this is, this game is out. In fact, the, uh, the collection's been out for a few weeks now. Uh, but, you're OED, what's happening, buddy? You finally made it to a stream. Welcome back. Hope life is good. Um... But yeah, the, the VR patch just came out today, and it's a free patch. So, uh, so if you already own the game, you already have this in VR. Uh, but, more importantly... Well, the most important thing is that it's in VR. Yeah, it's fr it's free DLC, so don't worry about a thing. Um, it's thirty it's thirty bucks here in the states. It's currently on sale uh, in the UK. Um, number one, Chaos Emerald achieved. I was I was like trying to pause it when you, so you could see the Chaos Emerald instead of it being flashing. I was used to do that when I was a kid. Ha! <laughs> oh no, it's gone. <laughs> Your lady is totally a legendary game cat. I, I hope your relationship uh, issues are going well. It's alright, MK. Uh, Nintendo, it, N Nintendo's Mario, and Sega is uh, Sonic. So that, that was basically the, the differentiating thing. Uh, I stuck my head in the TV yet? Hold on, well, I guess we gotta try that, right? Oh, oh man, somebody should really clean the back over here. This is really, really strange. Okay, I stuck my head in the TV. I don't know. I, I, is this game worth it? I mean, yeah, why not? I, I, I probably wouldn't bother playing uh, playing all these games without the VR support, uh, because I, I basically already... There's no point. I already played all these games on the PlayStation 3 Sonic's, uh, Sonic Ge Genesis Collection, and um, there's no real point in doing this again. 
Um, but the fact that I get to play these while I'm sitting in a bedroom in VR, I guess, is pretty cool. I guess? So, whatever. There's no point. Going on holiday. It's a European thing to say. Here in the States, we always say we're going on vacation. And then, like, Christmas and things like that. Those are holidays. We never say we're going on holiday. But I always, I always thought it sounded cooler. I'm going on holiday. And I think it's just the accent. The accent really helps, too. Boss time! It's boss time! It's the easiest boss of all time! Time! I'm no legend. I just like to play video games, and you guys are strangely interested in watching me do so. Uh, what's cool is that um, if Sega is willing to do this, all right, we, we, we've played enough. Um, if Sega is willing to do this for this, uh, it is kind of curious to be like, well, what else does Sega have in mind? You know, when um, it's it's a little it's a little curious uh, when, when we support VR for like kind of no reason. Uh, you're like, okay, well, are they kind of like, hey, what's up, Bob, from Belgium? Uh, are they kind of like backing VR? Like, right? Are they? Are, they know, they know they're probably not going to sell too many more copies because of it. Uh, somebody asked about Comic Zone, and uh, I got to say that I played Comic Zone. Uh, Test one two. A, oh crap! What? Why does this keep happening? There we go. I, I did I hit full screen. I don't know. I'm weird. There we go. Uh, later in life, I got really good at Comic Zone. Uh, but, like, not when it first came out. Oh, dude, Ash VR, that would be awesome if there was, like, a trophy collection in here with all the trophies you acquired. That would be awesome. Alright, let's, let's check out the options here. I forget what the options are. Uh, controls. I feel like I used to change the controls on this for some reason. Comic Zone is not a good game, I, I, but I got, like I said, I got really good at it um, at some point. I might be really bad at it too, I'm, I'm totally trying to uh, talk it up, but Panzer Dragoon HD in VR would be amazing. Um, man, I, lo I love Panzer Dragoon, I would kill for that. Sonic the Game Cat, I, I mean, I, I can only imagine with your name. <laughs> Alright, here we go, here we go. Episode 1, Night of the Mutants. Alright, so here we are. We're, we're, we're the star of a comic book. We're going to pick up these items here. Now they're up there. I forget how to use these things properly. Okay. Oh, no, no! Okay, well, don't hit R1. Uh... Okay, this is, this is not good. Okay. So it's L1, R1, and triangle to use the the, uh, the the three different the three different items, which makes sense. But I did not expect that to be the case. R1 and VR would be pretty cool too. Absolutely, Sega's got a ton of property that that would be uh, that would be pretty awesome in VR for sure. I would, actually, I would like vir I'd like Virtua Racing in VR because Virtua Racing. I remember playing that in the arcade and being like, "Oh, nothing's ever going to get better than this." And, uh, and man, just seeing that in VR, like even with its low polygon count, would be incredible. I would absolutely love that. Um, so that, that's that's my vote. That would be my favorite racing game of all time. I'm totally gonna blow up this barrel on accident. Oh, there we go. Space Harry VR would be pretty damn cool. Would it have to be first person though, or would it be third person? I'm very curious. Virtual on in VR. I mean, it all makes sense, right? Hey, you know what? Um, let's uh, let, let's check our options here. Let's 
the console settings that we're doing. Uh, let's check our emulator settings. We didn't we didn't mess with this at all, which is really strange. Usually the very first thing I do uh, is to do this. Pixel scaling. Uh, none none by linear EPX dynamically creates four more based on the original artwork. Smooth smooth diagonal lines. Oh, I hate smoothing things, but it sounds like maybe this would be all right. I don't do we want, I don't want scan lines because it's already it's already low res enough. We don't want to screw with that. Start in full screen. Mirror mode st stretched full screen. Disable sprite limit. Override some controls. Because no, no, we're no. We wanted to leave it as is. Uh, border art. Look at all the border art. It's very Saved by the Bell right here. When you wake up in the morning, I don't wanna. I don't think I'll ever make it on time. All right. If the teacher pops a test, the new woman I'm in my dog. Okay. Uh, back. Uh, let's get back into this and see what it looks like. Ooh, does that actually look better? I can't... Hold on, let's get close to it. It looks like it's sunken in now. I don't, I don't think that looks better. I don't think that looks better at all. Ah, oh, whatever. Alright. Uh, we'll, we'll play Comic Zone for just a, another minute or two, and then we'll, we'll, we'll move right on to something else. Uh, somebody is texting me non-stop. All right, here we go. Uh, boop, let's unpause. Oh, here we go, unpause. But yeah, we can pick up the rat, if I remember right. Uh, de detached, the best VR game to date. Uh, man, Detached is certainly interesting. Uh, my review is coming later today, but I gotta, I gotta tell you, uh, not, not my favorite. There are some serious issues with that game, um, but but it is uh, it, it is certainly very cool for what it's doing. Oh, you can see that guy up there. See ya. Wouldn't wanna be ya. Oh no, I thought I, knew, I thought I knew what I was doing. Like I said, I got really good at this game at one point in my life. I'm just apparently not at that point in my life currently. <laughs> cough, cough. I'm moving on. I just love the concept here. Thank you, Jesus. Let's drop this down here. I haven't, I haven't forgot how to... Oh, I, I... Damn it. I don't know why you can't just reach up and pull that. That being the thing. What's the password? Uh, Jesus, uh, I think the persistence uh, is definitely one of my uh, one of my favorite new games. And if, and if people are down, man, then I will I will basically play that game all day tomorrow, man. I, if that's what if anybody wants, that I was gonna do a 12-hour lunch live stream, but you know, but then we get the game early, unexpectedly. And, uh, and I had to play it. Uh, I had to play it by their rules. And uh... oh, there we go. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Like it becomes a superhero for all of three seconds, and you're like, oh, I'm moving on. All right, all right. Good enough. Good enough. All right. Back out of this. Back out of this. Bridge racer. My physical copy of the Persistence? No, I'm, I, uh, I since I already own the game, I, I told Best Buy they could take their time and, and ship it as slow as possible. Um, so, uh, so I'm not getting it to like Wednesday of next week or something. Um, but it is coming for sure. Fatal Labyrinth. Fatal Labyrinth. Why do I? I think I think I think Fatal Labyrinth is one of those games that people hate, and uh, and I actually really like. Roberto wants a date. Anybody want to date Roberto? How tall are you? <laughs> yeah, the James Pond series. Uh, apparently, there's um. Apparently, uh, I mean that that's electronic arts, right? Uh, I'm wondering if there are any electronic arts games in here. I don't think there are. I think these are all 
like Sega published games. Uh, James Pond was, I mean, not the best, but it was it was cool. There were three of those, weren't there? Jeez, or three just on Genesis. I think there was a Super James Pond. Um, yeah. All right. There's something about this that I just really like. Oh crap! Except I really am already gonna die, <laughs> like, cause I forgot to play. Type. Yeah. Oh, is Iram even still around? Is is that a thing? There we go. John Briggs, what's happening, buddy? Yeah, I like the concept of this. I, I don't know if I'd rather do this. I so even though I play PlayStation VR exclusively these days, I don't have time for anything else to the detriment of Octopath Traveler and Sonic Mania sitting there on my shelf with my Nintendo Switch. Um I gotta say, uh, I, I, I would, I think I'd still rather prefer to play these games um, on like a giant 50-inch HD television because, you, just because, uh, I don't know, because they're retro games, man. I think they're they're meant to be played on a TV, and seeing them blown up on an HD screen in HD uh, with a, an HDMI output, like I think that's that's incredible. Um, it makes the games look better than they've ever looked, and seeing them at that scale is incredible too. This is totally fun, and I really like it, and the multiplayer aspect is, is fantastic. Um, and, I'm, and I'm super, super glad we got it. That being said... Uh, crap, I, I, I forgot how to play. There it is. Crap, how do I select it? Hey, there it is, circle. Yeah, it's just a VR update, Stephen McDermott. Uh, it is, uh, it's, it's, it's free for anybody who, uh, for anybody who already owns the game. Yeah, I tried the big screen view, uh, Jada, but. Uh, multiplayer worked okay. Um, there we go. So if anybody wants to see what's behind me in the room, uh, there's a guitar over there, a little corkboard, poster of nothing, a really, really lame uh, lamp up there, uh, Altered Beast, we got our Sega clock, Magic 8-Ball up there on the bookshelf, Revenge of Shinobi poster, uh, a couple other cool posters, Comic Zone and Sonic 1. There is a trophy up there, but I don't think it's uh, representative of uh, the trophies we've got. Uh, Roberto, was that your phone number? Did, did, did Roberto just give out his phone number? Anybody willing to call that phone number and find out if Roberto answers? Uh, there are about 130 of you watching. Uh, I will. I would love to hear if one of you is interested in calling Roberto. All right, who asked for some, who asked for uh, Revenge of Shinobi? Or Shinobi 3. I can't. I can't remember. There's a, all these weird. Uh, the Shinobi 3, and then Re, and then Revenge of Shinobi. I can never remember which one came first and which one is. Uh, yeah, right. Three, huh? All right, fine. We'll do three. We'll play three. Sega! Yeah, uh, Genesis was my first console, for anyone just tuning in. Uh, so I have, like, I do have a pass with a lot of these games. Uh, the, uh... Right on. Okay, good to know. All right. Shinobi, Shinobi was never a, uh... Shinobi was never a series that I got into. I played it on the, on the Master System. But that was it. I remember not being able to skip the screen. Is that a thing? Nope, you can totally skip this one. Alright, cool. I don't know what I was thinking. What do... Is anyone speaking Spanish back to Roberto? I feel like he... I feel like... Really left out here. I, uh... I, I want... I don't want him feeling left out. Uh... No hablo español. Uh, lo siento. Uh... But, uh... But I, I, I wish I could communicate with you. Uh, so I hope somebody else is speaking Spanish back to Roberto. 
That would be very nice. Find out that was his phone number and then get back to me. Also, send me a picture. <laughs> it's one of those days. Oh, Portuguese. I, I apologize. Even worse, now like I offended somebody. Um, people always say, oh, Portuguese and Spanish are so similar, but it's, it's not really the case. <laughs> Similar enough for me to be confused, I'll say that. Donde esta la biblioteca? Bonjour. No, I'm okay. I don't think that's right either. That doesn't sound Portuguese to me. I'll be right here, I'm uh, Madman, like talking to MK, Madman, I'm talking to everybody at the same time. Ooh, lights off in the room would be nice, but I don't think I have that option. Music is pretty damn awesome. All this old, old school music is phenomenal. Best ninja game ever, yeah? Oh, did I just stand like right on a bomb? I'm just paying attention at all. A oh, Rolling Thunder and Pit Fighter. Now, th those are games I remember. Uh, not in this collection, unfortunately. Ninja Gaiden is definitely, uh, I enjoy those games better than Shinobi. Shinobi always feels a little stiff, but uh, this game feels less stiff than I remember it being, strangely. Uh, oh, crap. Boogerman! I totally remember Boogerman. Yeah, now I gotta remember how to play the game. Oh, crap. I am... Conqueror Labs is 30 bucks, uh, currently on sale. Yeah, there's no echo in this collection either. That's really strange, right? Okay. Man, I'm really, really bad at this game. <laughs> Crap, I'm like jumping at what, the exact wrong time every single time. And in that time, I just decided not to jump, apparently. There we go. I'm... wow. Yeah, you missed Alter Beast. Um, it was okay. Ah. Oh, jeez. There we go, there we go. Ninja Gaiden Black was pretty awesome. I remember that. That was good stuff. Booger Man was good. Uh, man, I'm, trying, I'm trying to remember all the, all the Sega Genesis games I used to play. Uh, I actually have a pretty decent Sega Genesis collection right behind me. I just have to take a look, uh, but it doesn't seem to be there. Like it should be. It's actually underneath the headset in, in my real world. And for some reason, I'm kind of blanking on all the titles. Yeah, I I will say that a good percentage of my uh, PlayStation. God damn it! Why can't I think today? I haven't had enough coffee. A good for. A good percentage of my Sega Genesis collection are Disney games. Uh, maybe not a good percentage, a small percentage, but a certain percentage for sure. Uh, Aladdin is really good. Um, Castle of Illusion, uh, Quackshot, Fantasia. Fantasia was tough as balls though. I don't think I ever really figured that game out like, the way it was meant to be figured out. <laughs> oh crap. Uh, I have TMNT, the Hyperstone Heist, the Konami games would have been uh, absolutely awesome uh, inclusion in this collection. Uh, of these 50, not too many, honestly, uh, because... Jesus. Man, I suck at this. There we go. NBA Jam, yeah, not a bad choice. That was a very... A good game, even if you didn't like uh, basketball. NBA Jam was great. Yeah, Road Rash again, another another uh, Electronic Arts game. Electronic Arts didn't seem to include any games in this collection. 
uh, which is a shame because electronic arts. Uh, Stephen Michael Wright, the Game Cat. What's happening, dude? Um, electronic arts was had solid, solid games on, uh, on the Sega Genesis for sure. Fantasy Zone. I was never a Fantasy Zone fan, but that doesn't mean it shouldn't have been included. Crap. Yeah, Castle of Illusion was fantastic. Uh, I, I say it over and over again. I, I didn't really love the Sega Genesis one, but I love the Master System one. That game just controlled like a dream. I was a big fan of that. Master System and, uh, and Game Gear were identical, which is great. Actually, I think I actually like my Master System collection better than my Genesis collection. I, I, can, I cannot remember. Oh, oh! <laughs> okay, get him back on screen. Jesus. Yeah, actually, a lot of my a lot of my Master System games actually had to come from like Brazil and uh, and uh, and European territories and stuff because um, because the PAL versions. Uh, like, well, I mean, you guys got some games that we just never got. Brazil got a ton of awesome exclusives. And uh, John Chalmers, uh, just search for uh, Genesis. Uh, it will not be in the PSVR section. You have to search for surprisingly too many games. Not all PSVR games are in the PSVR section. I keep panic, yeah, this is... Oh, yeah? Double jump? Why don't I... I don't remember that. Damn, alright, I am dead. It is time to move on to another one. Oh, uh, yeah, no, Master System. I've got a, I've, I've got a fantastic Master System collection. Like, that is... Every time I, I think about selling my games um, and, just, and just cleaning house... Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's my, what is it? It's, it's kind of like my, my Turbo Graphics Dreamcast. Uh, hey, what's up, Mrs. Mrs. Madman in black? <laughs> um, it's, it's, yeah, it's like my Master System Dreamcast and, uh, and Turbo Graphics collection that I'm like, man, I can't sell my collection because trying to get these things back would be painful. Like, if I ever decided. Yeah, this, the, the PlayStation Network store is a fucking garbage, man. They, they don't, I don't know what they're doing over there, but they need to get their shit together. I don't want to play it. Oh god, I got really good at Sonic Spinball at one point in my life too. Man, oh man. Too, you know, sometimes when you're just given too many great options, you're like, I don't know what to play next. Um, here, let's. You know what? Let's. Gunstar Heroes, such a such a classic. Uh, we played Streets of Rage three already, so uh, so so playing Streets of Rage two, sure it's a possibility. Um, Uh, I'll get to. I'll do Golden Axe after this. Remind me to do Golden Axe after um, Gunstar. Man, these treasure games. These treasure games. They they pulled off stuff on the on the Sega Genesis that no one else could no one else could pull off for sure. Take a second to get used to these controls again. You know, it feels good. I'm just. It's been so long since I played this. I actually own this game, too. I think this is gonna be short, short lived, guys. I'm not gonna, not gonna last very long here at all. I wish I could use a, I wish I could use a Genesis controller. Because then it would all just come right back to me. I, I don't know what where the three buttons are. I mean I know where they are, but it doesn't feel the same. Pushing a C button to jump feels right to me, but pushing a circle button to jump does not feel right to me. Um, it's just that muscle memory, you know what I'm saying? Hang on. 
with the motorcycle in VR be incredible. Uh, Gunstar Heroes or Contra 3? That's a good question, man. That's a good question. What, what about instead of Contra, what about Contra Hardcore? Because that was, that was the Sega Genesis competition for this game, wasn't it? Contra Hardcore was awesome. It was like, Konami was trying to out-treasure treasure. It was pretty cool, man. I totally forgot what I was supposed to be doing. I, there's a health bar up there and everything. I just, I have not played this game in so long, I apologize. There it is. Hey, Virtual Chef, Game Cat, wow, everything's great. Hell yeah. Yeah, this, this brings back memories. Big time memories. We're gonna take it back to the past, folks. These games do not suck ass. 30 bucks, 10 keeper one. 30 bucks, unless you're like in Europe and then it's on sale. Yeah, Bloody Zombies. Uh, I love Bloody Zombies in VR. I don't actually like Bloody Zombies outside of VR, but in VR it feels like a totally different game and I love it. Is it like 15 bucks? Totally worth every penny. Yeah, Sonic, I, lo I love all the effects that this game pulls off. Uh, that was my favorite part of it, just like the visual effects were awesome. It's like mimicking 3D and stuff. There we go. Yeah, Arnold's totally badass. Genesis does! Genesis does! Uh, Self-destruction, it just as of today has VR support. That's why we're checking this out today. Uh, Clinton, I don't know. If it says I'm playing Pixel Rift, I apologize. I don't know, uh... I don't know what's going on. Some, sometimes YouTube screws up even though I put in the proper information. So, uh, sorry about that. I will make sure that the uh, future video gets fixed. Oh crap, I forget you can't slide off the screen. Nope. We are not going to continue. Oh yeah, Madman, I've been playing video games for my whole life. Um, in fact, like, it, I'm, I'm one of those guys that like screams like when I'm watching a podcast. Um, like, uh, like an IGN or kind of funny or something like that. You know, these guys are supposed to be uh, total, you know, video game... What am I doing? Hold on a second. Sometimes, sometimes I'm in the option screen right here. Oh, right on, Dave Station. Thanks for the heads up on that. Strange that we, uh... Strange about that. All right, let's, uh, let's back out of this and go check out the collection. I, I did promise that we're going to play uh, Golden Axe next. Um... The room does look boring. Uh, do I keep I keep entering this game on accident? I wish they would stop that. It's uh There we go. It's weird. The selection screen is like it just kind of like illuminates what you're doing over here. Let's check the room settings. Uh hide room labels. What is what what are room labels? Um just the things. It does have chameleon kit. Uh time of day. Oh, hold on a second. You can hear crickets now. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but if you change the time of... There's a shadow from the moon. Because we're changing the time of day. Oh, 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 it's just, the sun's just starting to come up. It's just starting, but that's, oh, and there goes that shadow again from the sun this time. Um, all right, you know what? I, I really hate daytime in general. I wish it was nighttime all the time. Um, so we're just going to accept this uh, and go back. All right. See, now, now everything looks cooler because everything's illuminated. Uh, Zombies Ate My Neighbors, that's another one in my collection. Uh, absolutely. 
Um, love zombies ate my neighbors. And, uh, God, what was it? What was the Super Nintendo one? Ghoul Patrol? Uh, not as good, but, uh, but, but still, if you like zombies ate my neighbors, Ghoul Patrol on, on Super Nintendo is pretty damn cool. Ghoul Patrol? That doesn't sound right. I don't know. Very strange. All right, I told you guys I'd play Golden Axe next, uh, and I don't want to go back on my word. Dude, I have a TurboGrafx-16. It is my favorite video game system of all time. I have a pretty good TurboGrafx and PC Engine collection. Um, absolutely love the 16-bit era, and that is my favorite console of the 16-bit era, and one of my favorite consoles of all time. Um, here, let me go way back here. All right, looks like we're playing arcade by myself. Oh, this character selection screen is slow. Uh, you know, David Perry, uh, from Shiny, uh, like MDK, uh, and, uh, and all that stuff. Uh, I, I like, I like David Perry's stuff. Uh, MDK was cool, Wild Nine was cool. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think of, uh, of what he did before that and after that, though. I'm, like, having an issue remembering. Because, oh, Shiny did Earthworm Jim, didn't they? Crap, crap, crap. Oh, man. First two dudes. I should... This is, like, the tutorial. Why am I, like... <laughs> get my butt kicked. Yeah, Earthworm Gym. Shiny. That was good. Uh, Space Harrier 2. I'll put it on the list. Uh, Radal? Radal? I don't know how to pronounce your name. I apologize. Earthworm Gym. Yeah. Yeah, Shiny was awesome back in the day. They could, they could like, do no wrong. Uh, and then I think everything went south for them when, on the N64, Earthworm Jim 3D, if I remember correctly, wasn't even made by them? Is that right? Uh, so, uh, yeah. But still, MD MDK 1 and 2 were pretty good. Uh, but, you know, whatever. Oh god, I really, I forgot how slow this game controls. I'm not the biggest Golden Axe fan ever, but we are gonna ride this thing right here. Oh, come on! <laughs> it's no, it's ours. No, it's ours. I want to ride the big fish. Okay, fine. On live, man. Oh, I forgot about on live. Wow, is that any good? I don't think I ever played it. Man, where's my where's my Turbo Graphics 16 collection? I want to play Bonk. I want to play Bonk. I want to play uh, Ninja Spirit. Ninja Spirit was awesome. Hey, get down here. I want I, I want what tell me what you got, little man. Hehe. <laughs> Get, get over here. Get over here. Beep, beep. Uh, there's no controller lag, Matthew. Uh, I was having some controller lag when I played earlier with Dave Station uh, online multiplayer, um, which was a, which was crappy. <laughs> uh, but but we made it through, and, uh, and, it, and apparently it doesn't happen to everybody. Uh, so so just because it happened to me uh, does not mean it'll happen to you. Uh, apparently Dave and Lewis Knight VR were uh, were, were playing some multiplayer and they didn't have any lag at all so that's that's reassuring for sure dudes to the top is so good to the top is definitely top five playstation vr games i gotta i gotta adjust my top five list oh i totally forgot you can rewind yeah i'm not i'm not super happy with the way this battle went There we go, we use, use some of our magic here. The button layout is so wonky, man. It's like, I just don't remember. The, if you guys remember the Sega Genesis controller, there, there, it, it was like three buttons in a row, uh, in which in my head made perfect sense when I was a kid. Um, but now it's like, it's so foreign. Uh, if I had a con Genesis controller in my hand, it would be a different story. But, uh, and even the six button controller had, the th had three more right on top of the first three. What's up, Corey Baker? Um, and it was just, uh, and it felt so natural, but but now, but now it's just like this. I don't know. It's it's it's, it's very strange to uh, damn it. It's very strange to map those buttons to a to a PlayStation controller, PlayStation Four controller. All right, let's get up and kick the. Kick some dwarf butt here. Dwarf? Is that is that proper? I don't I don't really know. Elves? What are these things? I have no idea. What am I supposed to call things? What's up, Neil the Battle Cat Tomo? 
All right, played one level. It's it's time to move on. Um, uh, Pierre, uh, dude, go watch my review. I think my review says it all. What's up, Des? How you doing, dude? You having a GameCat meetup in Orlando? That's phenomenal. Everyone go meet up with Des if you live in Florida or if you want to go take a vacation and hang out with Desiree. Uh, yeah, Virtual Chef, you can play uh, two-player online, um, and, uh, and and when I get Des over here tonight, uh, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll try some local, local co-op. Alright, we definitely promised some uh, Space Harrier here. Uh, excellent question, I have no idea if this has pro support or not, I, I, I dove right in uh, when I was starting to play, and, uh, and I didn't really check to see. Uh, Zombies Ate My Neighbors was on Super Nintendo and Genesis. Uh, I actually have the Genesis copy. Um, hey, thank you, David Latchem. Latchem? Latchem. Sorry about that. Yeah, we'd all kill for Resident Evil 2 in VR. God, I'm not real happy about that. Um, a UK game cat meetup. Man, I wish I could go to the UK game cat meetup. That would be awesome. All right, I never got into this. Okay, so guys, um, it's uh, no pro support. Okay, good to know. I mean, it looks pretty damn good for not having pro support. It's it's craziness. Um, I don't think you can add games to the collection. I don't think does, I don't know if anything unlocks. Uh, I don't think so, but I could I could be wrong. The, in Hollywood, no. The, the actual games are 2D, just as they've always been. Uh, they, they are on a television, and that is the end of that. Uh, it's just the room that's in 3D, and you're playing it on a TV in VR. It's it's very strange. Get ready. Not, not, not unprecedented, though. Like, The Lost Bear is sort of similar. Uh, although, you know, it was 3D on a, on a 3D stage and stuff. Wow. Okay. Get ready. I didn't. I didn't think I was this bad at this game. The frame rate, man. I, I never got used to the frame rate in this because the, the Genesis didn't have scaling capabilities. Not not naturally. Uh, so any scaling that was done all had to be done with software. Uh, and so things like they really just get ready. Very jarring when they come in from the, from the background. Unlike the Super Nintendo's Mode Seven, which scaled and rotated like crazy. Three D World Runner, <laughs> right? Oh, oh no! Get ready! Yeah, but I'm sure if I played this game more, uh, I could get good at it. But, uh, but unfortunately, once level one is over. Man. Yeah, well, at least we made it to the boss. Jeez, made it to the boss and died at the boss. Is there a continue? There's no continuum. God. All right. I would play more of this, but it, but I'm I'm really really bad at it, and watching me die over and over probably is not uh, something anybody wants. Um. Yeah. Oh yeah. Re it, rewinding time. I, I guess I should probably do that a little more often. Splatterhouse. Why don't we have Splatterhouse two and three in this collection? Fucking Namco. Fucking Namco. We should have gotten those games. Whoa! Oh, you know what, Vector Man, dude. Vector Man is Vector Man's pretty awesome. I uh, just because it was kind of a, even though there were there were two Vector Mans, Vector Man one and two. Um, but Blue Sky Software pulled off some crazy weird effects on uh, on the on the Sega Genesis here. Um, dude, I even liked. I I'm one of the few people that actually liked like the PlayStation 3 360 Splatter House. That the 3D. Uh, <laughs> Uh, that was that was like a, a pretty fun game, man. It was ridiculous. Hey, thanks, David Latcham. Everyone, everyone seems to be enjoying uh, the new episode of Why We Love PSVR, uh, where we covered the Skyrim update. Uh, one of our more successful episodes to date. Uh, so I'm really glad that. You guys enjoyed that. 
Thank you for joining this stream, Otakuji. More importantly. Is the PSVR too heavy for my head? What? That's like a strange thing to say. PSVR is so comfortable. I play I play PSVR for 10 hours at a time some days. And, um... I play, uh... There we go. I knew you could destroy those monitors. I play Skyrim. Whenever I play Skyrim, I play for, like, at least five hours at a time. I play the Persistence for six hours straight, and then I play... And then the very next day, I play the Persistence for ten more hours straight. Um, obviously, I was, in, I was in a crunch time for review, and I wanted to beat it before I reviewed the game. But, but still, it was, uh... It was not an issue at all. I, anyone who's like, I can only play... I can only play, you know, VR for a certain length of time. I'm like, all right, cool. That's 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 cool. But I am not that person for sure. Uh, Eternal Champions was okay. Uh, that was that was during the Street Fighter 2 era, um, where everybody was trying to create their own Street Fighter game. Uh, Eternal Champions had appeal to it for sure. I like the art style, but it just didn't control very fluidly. I did like the stage deaths though, where they if you threw the enemy in just the right place at uh, after you won. Uh, you could, there was like this awesome, awesome fatality basically, but it was like stage based. It was very cool. I even had the CD one, but I never. Uh, but I, ne I never really got into it. I should note that I didn't have Sega CD as a kid. Uh, it was just too damn expensive. Like, we didn't have that kind of money. Um, I didn't get it till like, later on. And I, and I did manage to get most of my Sega CD collection before it became, like, collectible. So, I, I don't think... I, I wasn't spending, like, $100 on Snatcher. I think I spent $300 to get, like... I think it was my Sega CD plus, like, 30 games for it. And Snatcher was one of those games for $300. And, uh... And, I, like, it was the best deal ever uh, on eBay. Um, so, a lot of my collection I, I didn't spend much money on. Hey, take it easy. Everyone who's leaving, Dez, Neil, everyone, take it easy. So I'm sort of, uh... Scruff, I'm playing on the launch headset. Um... I, I have not needed to get a new headset, although technically, uh, I bought Desra a headset, uh, and so I... I bought my... I bought a new headset, I gave... I kept the new one, I gave him my old one, but it's still the old model. Um, so... I have tried the new headset, uh, at, like, PAX East and stuff, and I was like, okay, it's... it's I, I think it's slightly lighter. I could be wrong about that, um, but it's, but it's it's not. Uh, it's it's doesn't feel that much different. I, I'm pretty happy with. I'm pretty happy with the original model. Uh, yeah, don't bother getting a 3DX. That's that's ridiculous. Uh, the YouTube Bandit. Uh, that's not how things work, man. No one's gonna actually subscribe to you just because you say subscribe. Don't do sub for subs if you're a new YouTube channel. It's not gonna work. Um, take my advice. Just create quality content and keep it coming. Uh, and you will slowly, over time, develop a following. Um, sub for sub and, and, and going on other people's streams and stuff, asking for subscriptions, unfortunately. Uh, it just doesn't work. Even if people subscribe to you, they're never going to watch your stuff, and views are more important than subscribers, I'll tell you that. Um, let's see what we got. I already played Columns with... Uh, with <laughs> yeah, nice. Uh, I already played Columns with Dave Station Multiplayer. So, uh, so that's, I'm not going to do that. You know, I, I played, I will say, I will say, uh, I played columns three with Dave. Uh, I, will, I will play briefly on my own here. Take it easy, Des. I'll see you tonight. Alright. Oh, I don't know why I picked easy. It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm just going to blast through this real quick. It's alright, bud. Uh, Keith, uh... 
yeah, if, if you've never played these games before, all right, YouTube Bandit, uh, we get it, man. You were kidding, but we are going to block you if you if you keep saying that you were kidding. Uh, we don't want we don't want you uh, abusing the stream. Uh, so anyway, uh, most importantly, uh, if if you don't have any history with these games, if you if you weren't like a Sega Genesis kid, or if like you just aren't old enough to uh, to, for this to be something you cared about, I can't imagine this being something that you, you'd even be interested in. Uh, so, I don't know. Like, if you if, if you're interested in learning about like retro games and stuff, if this is something you, you care about, then cool. But but no, otherwise, not really. Uh, I think Batman Arkham VR is is insanely good, uh, but unfortunately, it's it's really short too. So you know, spending like 10, 15 bucks on it or something's cool. But just know that you're probably gonna blast through. Um, the game in like an hour, and then you're, and then it's worth playing through again to find all the Riddler trophies. So about, I don't know, two, two playthroughs, about two hours or so, uh, you get out of that. And it's it's a lot of fun. The story's incredible. I uh, highly recommend it. But just know what you're getting. Um, but it, it is really good. It was definitely one of the uh, PSVR's first killer apps. Now, no 3D effects on the game, uh, Damon. It's uh, it's this is this is just how the games were made originally. Uh, except you're playing in a 3D virtual room. To each his own. I know it's. Uh, I, I know that's not going to be appealing to everybody, but uh, it gave me an excuse to go back and play these games, which was which was awesome. All right. Like I said, we we had already played columns with with Dave Station, so um, turn it back out of here. Just want to just want to say that I did it. Doctor Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine would be pretty cool. It's a little surprising that that's not in here, considering they have most of the Sonic games. Um, not most, I guess. Are we talking like half of the Sonic games at this point? I don't know. Uh, Galaxy Force 2 was, was pretty epic. I remember this being really good. Oh, you know what? I take it back. This is not the game I remember. <laughs> I apologize. I really thought this was a different game. Uh, Galaxy Force 2 is not a great game. It might be. Who knows? I could be wrong. It's uh, but again, just like Space Harrier, it's like uh, it's tough to. No, Final Fight's not one of the games. There's no Capcom games included. There's no uh, Electronic Arts games included. There's no Namco games included. There's no Konami games included. Uh, it seems to be the Sega published games only. And even at that, uh, what's up? Uh, even at that, they're not all here, um, which is which is kind of a shame, honestly, because because in all fairness, uh, I mean, how awesome would it be to have TMNT: The Hyperstone Heist or Castlevania: Bloodlines or Contra Hardcore? Um, I mean, James Pond we were talking about earlier. Battletoads. <laughs> Fucking Battletoads. I actually really like Battletoads. Alright, backing out of this. <laughs> Not the game I thought it was. For some reason, I thought Galaxy Force was a... Uh... I thought Galaxy Force was a side-scroller. Man, well, why am I confused about this right now? Um... Hey, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine is here. That's awesome. Uh... Here we go. I already played Detached. I played Detached yesterday. I did a live stream. I'm working on a review right now, but then this happened. Um, uh, thank you. Uh, is it Sh Shadell? Is that how you pronounce it? Or, or is it Chattel? I don't, I don't know. I'm bad with pronunciation. All right. Rado, you got it, man. Right Star is up after this. Moonwalker would have been great. Yeah, I just saw it over there. The chat's delayed sometimes, I get it. Oh, man, I forgot that there was actually more to this game. Chad, oh, alright, that works. Chad, the game cat. It's worth throwing a fever. What have you, you been doing, dude? Why do you have a sore throat? I forgot how to play this. I spent some I spent some time with this game at some point in my life, and, and, I, and, I, and I think that even after a few hours, I never got very far. Like the levels are 
Touch to navigate a little bit. I'm holding the jump button. Let's see if I can... Oh, wow. That's a, there's a platform there. I can barely see it. Decap attack is weird, man, for sure. Absolutely weird. Like Daffy Duck just flying across the fucking game. And we landed in lava. <laughs> impatient fire. He's so impatient. He bought it right away. He's so impatient. Alright. Domino. Oh, wait, actually, there's, a, there's stuff right here. Alright, starting to get to feel this. Totally starting to get to feel this. Yeah, the music is awesome. Yeah, man, take it easy, buddy. Whoa, whoa, can we make it? We made it. Uh, you know what? I, I, I keep I keep forgetting that not all of you were here for, uh... Here we go. Here's full screen. I forget that not all you guys were here for the, uh... For the beginning of the stream. So it's sort of just like playing it in theater mode. Uh, that's the thing. Oops. Holding the wrong button. There it is. It's, it's pretty cool, right? Because it's like this giant theater. 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 Um, but it's, it kind of removes the whole point of playing it in VR, right? I'd at this point, I'd rather just play it on my... Uh, on like my 15-inch like HD screen. Alright. Made it to the end of level 1. Uh, and I, I, I promised, uh, alright, we'll, we'll, we'll do time rewind on, uh, we'll do time rewind on our next game, which, as I promised, would be Right Star. Only because he asked so nicely. He said, please, with a W. Alright. I love that that cartridge is in there. Uh, this sort of was my room in the 90s. I had video game posters, I had video game collection, I had a rack mount stereo just like this, uh, with some... Actually, my speakers were nicer. Uh, I, I definitely had a skateboard, even though I was awful at it. I have... There's a guitar back there. I definitely have always had a guitar, ever since I was, like, 14, I think? Alright, here we go. Wow, this is darker than I remember. Uh, he's... Look at Right Star, he's so goddamn cute. Play with me? Look okay, at that, very Sonic 3, Sonic 2 of them. Okay, let's see if I can get these controls down. There's jump, there's the grab mechanic. Uh, oh, apparently A also jumps. <laughs> I don't remember that at all. No, strangely, Echo... Echo and Echo 2, the tides of time. Uh, yeah, the same haircut since I was 14. Yeah, absolutely. You guys are killing it. No, I don't, I don't have a butt kicker. Uh, it's one of those things that, like, <laughs> my apartment is so small that, like, really what's here is the absolute necessities only. Uh, oh, you guys want to see rewind. So you're holding down L2, and you can rewind at will. Let's see how far back we go. Yeah, no echo the dolphin seems a little strange. What's up, David Gonzalez? You can watch all the mistakes that I made, slowly, in reverse. You guys get it? That's the rewind feature. Yeah, this is this is kind of knockoff Sonic. I mean, it, it, I don't know. It's a lot of games were knockoff Sonic back in the day. Wait, what do you think he's doing in that bush?
Yeah, welcome all the new game cats out there, man. It's been a pretty crazy week for the channel. A lot of new subscribers. Thank you so much for, for checking out the channel, guys, and uh, also for, for subscribing, for, for watching our reviews for all of our podcasts and everything. Um, I guess... uh, you missed it, man. We already played Comic Zone. I apologize, but that was... Uh... Shoot, I, I just ran right over those spikes. That was weird. Why'd I do that? I don't know. Uh, I'm using the Bionic Mantis headphones. I love the Bionic Mantis headphones because they are so, like, ergonomic. They're just really, really easy. Uh, I just leave them hooked onto my headset and I never have to take them off. Uh, that being said, uh, my left one broke. Uh, so it's just kind of dangling there. It doesn't really, like, push against my right ear like it should, or my left ear. Um, I have to grab that with the grab as well. It's so strange. All right. All right, that was Rice Star. Uh, I don't. You, you know how this works. Uh, I, I don't think I really have much of a history with this game. This is a. This is definitely a very different Sega Genesis collection than the one I had. Uh, I definitely have a few of these games in my actual collection. Um, I think we're gonna, we're gonna do like one more and then call it a day. I, I gotta finish my uh, my detached review, and uh, and then after that uh, I gotta get ready for for Des and I to film tonight. So I can't spend my whole day doing this like I'd like to. So many good games, man. So many good games. Uh, let's end with you know what I was saying this earlier that Sonic Two was probably uh, one of my most played uh, Sega Genesis games. So why wouldn't why wouldn't I end the stream with my most played Sega Genesis game? Sega! Nails. Miles Tails Prower. I, I didn't get that joke when I was a kid. Miles Tails Prower. Miles Prower. Take it easy, MK. I hope you feel better soon, dude. Thanks for stopping in. Oh, we definitely need to see a bonus stage before we call it a day on this game. <laughs> Miles per hour. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Riddle, I, I remember having the, uh, the Sonic cheat back in the day. Um, take it easy, Ash. But I will not be using it here. Um, just because... Crap. Okay, hold on. You know what? I like. I didn't want to go over here, so let's rewind time. Until the, from before I went over here. Perfect. All right, we gotta go find a check mark so we can go find so we can get into a bonus stage. We'll just take the high road. Up here on the high road, there should definitely be one. Yeah, Chad, uh, Titanic VR sounds uh, sounds awesome uh, because it doesn't it doesn't seem like it actually seems like a really good one. Like it, uh, unlike uh, Everest, which was pretty bad, and uh, in the Chernobyl project, which was really bad, um, Titanic seems like they really did this right. Um, so hopefully. Hopefully it'll be as awesome as we want it to be. All right, here we go. We're gonna go get our first Chaos Emeralds. Unfortunately, our only Chaos Emerald of the day, but man, I could definitely beat this game in one sitting if I had, if I had the time. Yeah, not that Titanic. I don't wanna see, uh, how, what the hell are their names? I mean, Leonardo DiCaprio and uh, whatever the name is. Um, Ooh, hey, I just got a silver trophy. Is that my first, this is the first trophy I've popped, I think. Dun, dun, 
Alright, we're almost there. So we get 140 rings, here we go. Yeah, this is the, the Sonic's Genesis collection on PS3. Uh, that was a, a pretty quick platinum for sure. It was just a uh, Dr. Eggman, or Eggman and Dr. Robotnik were the two different uh, names. One Eggman they called him in Japan, and then uh, Dr. Robotnik was when they ported uh, Sonic over to the States. Uh, although it was originally in the States, I forget. I think I can't remember which way it went, but uh, they just they just had two different names. Uh, that was it. Uh, and then and then eventually they decided to unify the universe. Uh, I grew up. I grew up with Doctor Robotnik, um, so that that works for me. But but Eggman is. Uh, but Egg Eggman works for me too. Uh, I'm down. I'm down with the unified Sonic universe. <laughs> I don't want to stop playing, but I, I have so much work to do today for the channel. Right, and I, I know it was. I know which one was which, but I, I thought didn't Sonic One, wasn't that like developed in the United States? That's what I was getting at. Um, there, there was something about that. There was like a U.S. team, um, or maybe that was for when Sonic for Sonic Two. I, I can't remember the Sonic story, the Sega story about that. But yeah, no, it, absolutely the case. So, in Japan, Sonic. Sonic Travel was always there. Oh, I ran right into that! Alright. Alright. I definitely, I definitely screwed up just enough for me to drop out. Uh, guys, that was, so that's the, uh, the, the Sega Genesis collection. Um, oh, Flawless Felix. That means you didn't grow up with these games, dude. If you, uh, if you, if you had grown up with these games, uh, that, that jumping sound would be iconic. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, thank you for hanging out and, uh, and and checking out these games with me. It's very very cool to see random PlayStation VR support for a game that we definitely were not expecting it for. Uh, what does it add? I don't know. It's cool. Uh, take it easy, Corey. And uh, it's just it's it's just nice to see uh, developers supporting PlayStation VR, uh, and especially at a time like this. Oh, I didn't even notice that the the rug was Sonic. It's pretty fucking awesome. It's okay to be wrong, dude. Felix, we we don't judge you. You know. <laughs> Uh, you guys are all awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks for putting up with me. Um, and uh, and you all have a great fucking day. Enjoy uh, the channel. There should be a lot of content going up over the next few days. I love you all. Bye-bye.